The prisoner's fate may be cruel, but you cannot help him, at least not now. You'll need to find another way out, you tell him. Wait, come back. Just a knife is all that I ask. Damn you! As you lie back down, you also consider the slave girl. A difficult lot she has, though do not we all. When morning comes, you break your fast and prepare to meet the leader of this group. Two of the warriors bring you into a wide tent, wherein Zephanon is seated. His tent smells of spicy incense. The ground is covered by a dark-colored woven carpet, and stubby flames dance within a bronze brazier. Also seated there is the man whom you had seen returning yesterday alongside Zephanon. He wears a copper circlet and has gray eyes. Zephanon himself is black of eye and hair, with his beard fading to pale gray at the cheeks. He is a sturdy man, to be sure, and without his armor, his thick chest and limbs show beneath his robe. Come in, he welcomes you. My men tell me you are from Cardia, and you bear the family name of Vascos. This is true. We have herded sheep and looked after our land of dappled hills since before the histories began. A proud shepherd. <laughs> yeah, a man should take pride in his work and in his traditions. I am Zephanon of Tarag. My father was a priest, and his father before him. But they worship the dying gods of the land, just like all of Palagos. And thus their miracles were small to nil. But I shall not press you with religious matters. I'm not a prophet, I'm not a clergyman. Zephanon stands and gestures to the man in the copper circlet. This is Edris of House Terracothium. Well met, Edris, you say. The man stands and looks you squarely, his gray eyes like two stones bearing an invisible weight upon you. You are from Cardia, yes? That is right. We caught a thief, a man named Thel, and gave him the punishment he deserved. He stole a great relic of ours, a mantle of ancient design. According to him, he sold this holy garment to a man in Cardia called the Fletcher. What can you tell us of this man? You have known the Fletcher for years, since you were a boy. He is lustful and brash, and his title of arrow maker has more than one meaning to it. He is by no means close to you, but your family and his have worked together for decades, striving to sustain the village 